Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's both fundamental and fascinating, tire sizes. We see those numbers and letters on the side of our tires every day, but do you really know what they mean? And have you ever wondered how this system started? Well, stick around because we're about to break it all down for you. Let's start with understanding how to read tire sizes. When you look at the sidewall of a tire, you'll typically see a combination of numbers and letters, something like P215-65R15. This may seem like a random sequence, but it actually provides a wealth of information about the tire. The first part, which in this case is P, stands for passenger vehicle. If it were LT, it would stand for light truck, indicating a tire meant for light trucks. The numbers that follow, 215, represent the tire's width in millimeters from sidewall to sidewall. So, a 215 millimeter width tire is what we're dealing with here. Next up is the aspect ratio, which in our example is 65. This number is a percentage that tells us the height of the tire's sidewall. It is the ratio of the height of the tire's cross section to its width. So, in this case, the sidewall height is 65% of the 215 millimeter width. This aspect ratio can influence the comfort and performance of your ride. Higher ratios generally offer a more comfortable ride, while lower ratios provide better handling and cornering stability. Moving on, the letter R stands for radial construction, which is the most common type of tire construction today. Radial tires have layers of fabric with cords running radially across the tire. This construction offers better road contact, fuel efficiency, and longer tread life. However, you might come across a B, which stands for bias ply, a construction method that is now largely outdated, but still found in some specialty tires. The final number in our example, 15, indicates the diameter of the wheel in inches that the tire is designed to fit. So this tire fits a 15-inch wheel. It's crucial to match this number with your vehicle's wheel size to ensure proper fit and performance. Tires also have load index and speed rating markers, which can be found after the main size description. The load index indicates the maximum weight the tire can support, while the speed rating tells you the maximum speed at which the tire can carry a load safely. Now that we've decoded the tire size, let's talk about how this standardization came to be. The history of tire sizes is a journey of innovation and standardization driven by the automotive industry's rapid evolution. In the early days of the automobile, there was no standard tire size. Every manufacturer had their own sizes and specifications, which made tire replacement a complicated and confusing task for vehicle owners. As the popularity of automobiles grew, so did the need for standardized tire sizes. The first significant step towards tire standardization came in the early 20th century. During this period, the U.S. Tire and Rubber Company, later known as Uniroyal, started to develop standardized tire sizes to simplify production and improve compatibility across different vehicle brands. This initiative led to the creation of the first tire size standards, which were still relatively basic, but a step in the right direction. In 1947, the introduction of the radial tire by Michelin marked a turning point in tire technology and size standardization. Radial tires quickly gained popularity due to their superior performance, durability, and fuel efficiency compared to the existing bias ply tires. As radial tires became the industry standard, it became clear that a more comprehensive and uniform tire sizing system was necessary.
By the 1970s, the need for a globally accepted tire sizing system led to the development of the P-metric sizing system, which is still in use today. The P-metric system was developed by the Tire and Rim Association in the United States and was later adopted by international organizations, such as the International Organization for Standardization (ISO). This system introduced a standardized method of measuring and expressing tire dimensions, including width, aspect ratio and diameter, as well as load carrying capacity and speed rating. The P-Metric system's introduction revolutionized the tire industry by providing a clear, consistent way to categorize and compare tires. It allowed consumers to make more informed decisions when purchasing tires and made it easier for manufacturers to design tires that met specific performance and safety standards. Additionally, the adoption of the P-Metric system facilitated international trade and cooperation within the tire industry, as manufacturers and consumers worldwide could now rely on a common sizing standard. While the P-Metric system remains the dominant tire sizing system today, it's worth noting that other sizing systems exist. For example, the European metric system and the light truck numeric system are also used in specific regions and applications. However, the principles behind these systems are similar, aiming to provide a standardized way to measure and communicate tire dimensions and performance characteristics. Understanding tire sizes is not just about knowing what fits your car. It's also about optimizing your vehicle's performance, safety, and fuel efficiency. The right tire size ensures that your car handles properly, rides comfortably, and stops safely. It can also impact your vehicle's fuel economy and the lifespan of your tires. For instance, using a tire that is too wide or too narrow for your wheel can lead to uneven wear, reduced traction, and even damage to your vehicle's suspension components. Additionally, choosing the correct tire size is crucial when upgrading or modifying your vehicle. Many car enthusiasts enjoy customizing their vehicles with larger wheels or lower profile tires. While these modifications can enhance the appearance and performance of a car, it's essential to ensure that the new tire size is compatible with the vehicle's specifications and doesn't negatively impact its handling, braking, or safety. To sum up, tire sizes are a critical aspect of vehicle maintenance and performance. From the numbers and letters on the sidewall to the history of tire standardization, Understanding tire sizes helps you make informed decisions about your vehicle's tires. Whether you're replacing worn out tires, upgrading your wheels, or simply curious about how tires work, knowing how to read and interpret tire sizes is a valuable skill for any driver. So, the next time you look at the sidewall of your tire and see that sequence of numbers and letters, you'll know exactly what they mean and how they came to be standardized. Thank you for watching. Drive safe and see you in the next video. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.